The Seven Sorrows and Seven Joys of St. Joseph In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. First Sorrow The Doubt of St. Joseph But Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wishing to expose her to reproach, was minded to put her away privately. First Joy The Message of the Angel but while he thought on these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Do not be afraid, Joseph, son of David, to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is begotten in her is of the Holy Spirit. O chaste spouse of Mary, most holy, glorious Saint Joseph, great was the trouble and anguish of your heart when you were minded to put away privately your inviolate spouse. Yet your joy was unspeakable when the surpassing mystery of the Incarnation was made known to you by the angel. By this sorrow and this joy, we beseech you to comfort our souls, both now and in the sorrows of our final hour, with the joy of a good life and a holy death, after the pattern of your own, in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Sorrow The Poverty of Jesus' Birth And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Second Joy, the birth of the Savior. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be to all people. For today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you, who is Christ the Lord. A most blessed patriarch, glorious Saint Joseph, who was chosen to be the foster father of the Word made flesh. Your sorrow at seeing the child Jesus born in such poverty was suddenly changed into heavenly exaltation when you did hear the angelic hymn and beheld the glories of that resplendent night. By this sorrow and this joy, we implore you to obtain for us the grace to pass over from life's pathway to hear the angelic songs of praise and to rejoice in the shining splendor of celestial glory. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this, this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and ever shall be, world, world without end. end. Amen. Third Sorrow, The Circumcision and when eight days were fulfilled for his circumcision, his name was called Jesus, the name given to him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Third joy, the holy name of Jesus. And he did not know her until she brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. O glorious Saint Joseph, you faithfully obeyed the law of God 
and your heart was pierced at the sight of the precious blood that was shed by the infant Savior during his circumcision. But the name of Jesus gave you new life and filled you with quiet joy. By this sorrow and this joy, obtain for us the grace to be freed from all sin during life and to die rejoicing with the holy name of Jesus in our hearts and on our lips. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. Fourth Sorrow, the Prophecy of Simeon. And Simeon blessed them, and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and the rise of many in Israel, and for a sign that shall be contradicted, and your own soul a sword shall pierce. Fourth Joy, the Effects of the Redemption. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give praise to the Lord and spoke of him to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. A most faithful saint, who shared the mysteries of our redemption, glorious Saint Joseph, the prophecy of Simeon regarding the sufferings of Jesus and Mary caused you to shudder with mortal dread, but at the same time, filled you with a blessed joy for the salvation and glorious resurrection, which he foretold would be obtained by countless souls. By this sorrow and this joy, obtain for us that we may be among the number of those who, through the merits of Jesus and the intercession of Mary, the Virgin Mother, are predestined to a glorious resurrection. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. Fifth Sorrow, the Flight into Egypt. So he arose and took the child and his mother by night, and withdrew into Egypt. Fifth Joy, the Overthrow of the Idols of Egypt. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord will ascend upon a swift cloud and will enter into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt will be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst thereof. O most watchful guardian of the incarnate Son of God, glorious Saint Joseph, what toil was your in supporting and waiting upon the Son of the Most High God, especially in the flight into Egypt? Yet at the same time, how you did rejoice to have always near you God himself, and to see the idols of the Egyptians fall prostrate to the ground before him. By this sorrow and this joy, obtain for us the grace of keeping ourselves in safety from the infernal tyrant, especially by flight from dangerous occasions. May every idol of earthly affection fall from our hearts. May we be wholly employed in serving Jesus and Mary, and for them alone may we live and happily die. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sixth Sorrow, the Return from Egypt. But hearing that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there, and being warned in a dream, he withdrew into the region of Galilee. Sixth Joy, Life with Jesus and Mary at Nazareth. And when they had fulfilled all things prescribed in the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee, into their own town of Nazareth. O glorious St. Joseph, an angel on earth, you did marvel to see the King of Heaven obedient to your commands, but your consolation in bringing Jesus out of the land of Egypt was troubled by your fear of Archelaus. Nevertheless, being assured by the angel, you dwelt in gladness at Nazareth with Jesus and Mary. By this sorrow and this joy, obtain for us that our hearts may be delivered from harmful fears, so that we may rejoice in peace of conscience, and may live in safety with Jesus and Mary, and may, like you, die in their company. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now never, never shall be, be world without end. end. Amen. Seventh Sorrow, the Loss of the Child Jesus And not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem in search of him. Seventh Joy, the Finding of the Child Jesus in the Temple And it came to pass after three days that they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them, and asking them questions. O glorious St. Joseph, pattern of all holiness, when you did lose, through no fault of your own, the child Jesus, you sought him, sorrowing, for the space of three days, until with great joy you did find him again in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors. By this sorrow and this joy, we supplicate you, with our hearts upon our lips, to keep us from ever having the misfortune to lose Jesus through mortal sin. But if this supreme misfortune should befall us, grant that we may seek him with unceasing sorrow until we find him again, ready to show us his great mercy, especially at the hour of death, so that we may pass over to enjoy his presence in heaven. And there, in company with you, we may sing the praises of his divine mercy forever. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and never shall be, be world without end. end. Amen. And Jesus himself was beginning about the age of thirty years, being, as it was supposed, the son of Joseph. 
Pray for us, O Holy Joseph, that, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who in your ineffable providence did vouchsafe to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant, we beseech you, that he whom we venerate as our protector on earth may be our intercessor in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.